Whoa, this is the illusion. And my sidekick, Owl. We're up here on, uh, we're up here in Sycamore Canyon. That is, uh, that's Boney Ridge back there. And uh, the Rainbow Mountain headquarters is just over Owl's, behind Owl, like right around in here. That's where we live up in there. And uh, we're up for a, a nice hike. I'm doing, doing my daily workout with my back. I think uh, this is about a, like a five mile there and back. It's two miles straight up, up the hill. I kind of plug away at it. Dude, I can do it in about 40 minutes. Get my, get my jam on. Al likes it. He gets to walk on the, on the way home. So I thought I would just check in on my, uh, my back. So I listened to this podcast called, uh, Health Masters with Dr. Ted Brower and his son. Pretty, pretty good nutritional advice. And Dr. Brower is fully dialed in. He's like, he's like a gnarly Christian dude too. So, you know, and they do cover the news and interesting perspective. So anyway, I was listening to it the other day and uh, he was talking about how uh, in the Bible it talks about putting your hands on, on other people to heal them. And uh, so after I made the, the low point video, I'd heard that podcast like later that day. And so what we've been doing is twice a day, I lay on my stomach and the hologram puts her hands where my, my injury is on my back and, and she prays and I pray and uh, we, we bring God into my back right to where it's hurt. And um, you know what? It's working. It really is working. Like I'm, I'm absolutely like surprised because when I'd made that low point video earlier in the week, I had reached like a low point, like way better off than I was before, but didn't feel like I was making any progress and it was bumming me out because I'd kind of been stuck in the same place for like 10 days. And, uh, dude, so we started doing the laying hands on thing and, and, and it makes total sense to me. I mean, it's a lot of, it's a lot of what I do to stay sober is, you know, it's a, it's a spiritual solution. I mean, it's, I'm not. I'm not pushing it except to ex share my uh, my experience with it, and I I'll tell you, I feel so much like better physically. And the only thing I've done different is that. Maybe it's psychosomatic, but I, I have faith, and I know that actually, when when we're both praying together and we're focusing the energy right to where it is, like we're zeroing in God. And God is multidimensional, omnipresent power. And so we're focusing that intent and that, that grace and that healing right into my back. And uh, I've been really feeling pretty good the last four days. And, and also, you know, that thing of putting myself out there, I've, I've gotten the opportunity to have a couple really good good conversations with some people that are hurting for real like yeah my I'm hurting for real like physically but you know I spiritually and emotionally I'm in a pretty decent place it's hard to be like super down with owl in my life and the hologram and the minigram like I got a lot of pluses just because I haven't ridden a skateboard in 10 weeks there isn't a reason to get all like I at the end of the world, man. So, you know, I've had the opportunity to talk to a couple cool people. And if I really look at it, like, you know, I, look at look at where I'm hiking, man. I mean, that's not a bummer at all. So that's the beach down there. That's a Sycamore Cove. And I hike from, from the beach up there. And, uh, you know, this is like all a, a wilderness area, state park. And this is... Uh, one of the last intact areas in, in Southern California, and I find it to be very special and healing. I went up there the other day, there's a vortex up there. 
that's where the shapeshifters and the aliens come in. It's pretty classic because it'll be like the clearest summer day ever and there'll be a giant puffy white cloud like just enveloping that right there. And I'll know what's going on. They're coming in and they need some cover. So I know my spirits are up. Like I said, it's it's uh it's it's a it's a journey, but I, I really wanna share that that the biggest breakthrough I've had is actually prayer with another person touching me and praying the intention to the injured part of my body. I don't know. It's it, I don't know if if you don't if you don't have any faith or anything like I guess it would make sense and it would seem pretty wacky but like once you've made made the jump into the hyperspace into the multidimensional reality that we're experiencing like it makes total sense like and I, I don't think it and I was you know I was talking to this kid the other day about spirituality and it's like oh I believe in science and and you know I went to college for chemistry I do not think that spirituality and God and the Bible and science discount each other. I think they actually are talking about the same thing. I mean, when you ta start talking about, you know, quantum mechanics and, and string theory and stuff, like, that is what they're talking about in the Bible. Like, that is what the resurrection's all about. So, you know, I don't think that they need to exclude each other. I think that is 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 ignorance at its finest. And I don't need to like, you know, that's what I was talking to this kid, like I don't need to be right. And I don't need you to be wrong. I think that's where everybody's gotten a little bit goofy nowadays is someone's gotta be right and someone's gotta be wrong. How about I'm just a human being exploring the world I'm existing in and and I'm finding new information and the more I open my mind and my heart to the truth of of my understanding of of spirituality and God like the better my life is getting so I mean what do you think owl hmm. what's what sound does a dinosaur make what's <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that cracks me up. What sound does a dinosaur make? Do it again. Go do the do the sound again. Come on. Ah, oh, for me. No, you're not. That's all I get. Ah, oh, that was it. That's the best, man. So, uh, yeah, we're up here hiking, and it's a it's a beautiful day, right? What do you what do you think, there, Al? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> gentle gentle i don't want to eat a rock all right this is the illusion don't forget to subscribe and uh may god bless you as god has blessed me and my family and uh let's take it to the next episode <laughs>